champs Hawaii. Five oh one. We It is only the quarterfinals, still awaiting. Fact. Double 16 for the set. Yes, <laughs> for the set, set. Taylor, Taylor actually cakewalk. The 16th and around the doubles. But Wayne's not in sync. His oh, attack on the 60s, ah! nowhere, John. And did you see that reaction? He is so, so annoyed and trying to psych himself up. He screamed! Well, yet again, Marvel is going to have to hope. And the way Taylor's been finishing in recent legs seems to me to be pretty hopeless. But I think Taylor will carry on here, 16 and tops, to take the set. He's one set up, two darts for double top. Doesn't need the last one, Taylor, he's now throwing up those doubles like we know he can. Phil Taylor, the kiddies favourite. Lovely second dart, lovely third one coming in as well. 95. Just missed to take that line, which was very difficult. That's a lovely first dart. Now, now, now he's annoyed, and every right to be so, because really he knows he should have been right alongside that other. When Marnell's at his best, he puts another one alongside when he gets one position like that, Sid. Now we've heard a lot of Rod Harrington and Stary on pain now. Stop beating yourself up. Maybe win or to take the leaf out of that book as well. He is beating himself up. Brow beating himself psychologically. A lovely cover shot from Taylor. Way to require 161. There we go then. 85. To go further ahead and what's becoming a parade. 60. Taylor wants fat 20 and the lipstick. 
Redbit. Double. Ten. And oh, the well, they might have been thinking. Well, if he got Why that, that he could only have had himself to blame. He's got to come in now and get this green bit. Too far. It's Pontius' connection with the crowd. They've got well, so scored. quiet, it's getting thrown away. Oh, and he's got other problems, far. but that compounds them. Nine for double eight. To make it look like a Stoke parade, the red bit. And the second yeah, leg. Second leg to Coulter. He wants because he's had three gruelling matches. He's come through them and just up his street, this. A nice, comfortable outing. Win comfortably off the stage. See you tomorrow. But he never thought he'd be taking Wayne to the cleaners. With a 91 average, Sean. Absolutely. Taylor's averaging 91, which for him is ordinary. And Mardle is unable to capitalise. Simply because Mardle's performance so far has been even less than ordinary. An average of 83.4. Nice cover by the power. 134. Beautiful last start as well. The one time he gets the weird right, 95. he gets a bump into the five. That was unlucky, that. That was on track to the red bit. Taylor now looking for ton plus here to leave a nice little two dot. Three zip in sets. Perfect line. Oh, I didn't need the line! Now he'll have to move, otherwise he'll leave himself on a bogey. 99. That means 167, at least you can check 94. out 167. You can't check out 166, so 93. Now then, double 18. Let's see how he fares at the double that cost Marble last time. Bear in mind the difference. Marble was a mile away when he got the double 18. Going to end rather quickly. Topsy wants. Got a chance, third dart. Here's on the first leg. Raymond. Last little speckle of respect. Two more sets. Oh, he's got a wonderful throwing this from Taylor now. Is this the first yeah, maximum yeah, of the yeah, match? Yeah. You wouldn't have believed we'd be saying that in the second leg of the fourth set. Oh, oh, unlucky! You think the electric eel shower had hit the crowd? Lovely line. Risky this though. That no, that's the understucker. That was very risky. Oh, but that was, he's, I hate to say this. Thomas, like he's got a kitten with a ball of wool. He's trying that difficult understucker shot because he's so far ahead. It's not. It's not that he's mocking way, but he's trying shots that are almost exhibition shots. Should get two more. 100. I think at the same time it has to be said that he's still working very hard to rediscover his best form. All the signs are that it might just be coming fancy. His average now is 96.5. Even models improved to 88. To 19. Once. Big 12. No, the travel. Double 13. Missed it before, but. 55. Long way off. Well, well, you might see uh, Marble do exactly the same thing. Now he's gone for treble 15, double 18, he's got yeah, it. So he's broken second. Taylor's throw for the first time in the match Third and now has a chance two. of winning the set. Game on. And his fans appreciate what could be a sea change. Because we all know he's chocking up like a talent. He has depths. The crowd now too. One leg, and it's back in this match, 3-1. Well, what is encouraging for Marvel is the manner in which he took out that uh, 81. Treble and double, no problem, and this might be unlucky, oh, unlucky. Might be the start of a Marvel surge, 
If so, watch out, Mr. Taylor. On the other hand, when you're three sets to nil up, you can keep doing this. There aren't too many problems, surely. On form, third dart would have been in there for Taylor. 85. Stays ahead. But a ton 40 by Taylor makes it very interesting here. Deserts that now, lies no good, comes for the cover shot. He blocks that cover shot. Must go somewhere else, trouble 18. 93. And gets it. Thank you, ladies and, and gets gentlemen. It. But what a chance for Mardle. Only 20 points behind, with throw here. Ah, oh, now then, now then, now then, now then. Should be set to Mardle. With a 14 dart, now that'll please them as well, Johnny. Oh, once again, they blocks the bed, comes for cover. Long away from the cover. That is two, right then. Wayne requires 60. It's a big ask for Taylor, even if he misses here. 19. Double top for th three. Six to one! Kill Marlo Magnus in the crowd! Marlo's back in! Let's the crowd know! Back at the Ali Pali, Taylor three, Mardle one. Still stage from the break. Look at this. He's trying to get the crowd right, right with him. And I believe he succeeded. I would say there was a little bit of bounce. Idak here playing Macbeth in Brooklyn. Double 16 for Taylor. Has to go north. Half an inch. There, red bit. Oh, the light can be hit too hard. This is awkward. 16 score. Well, he got inside that dart, which eight. was his aim, but 18 now for Marble. Yeah, he's broken five Taylor, five. and he has a chance now. Only 62. Indeed, indeed. Now then, again, is this the first one for Marble? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. He's on his way. Large! Yes, if he can now hold in on this 1 8 3, take the set. He throws first in the next set. He is most definitely back in this match. He's taken the crowd for a ride there. He wasn't. Did he ever? <laughs> 2,000 of his fans with their gobs smacked. Thought he was going to go for another treble 20, which would have left three. <laughs> Sit on a potential 14 daughter. 40. Here we go. When Six dots. 50. Double 16. Double eight. Oh. 34. Here we go. Margot on an absolute search. Here we go then, double lights. Wayne requires for three two in sets. Yeah, three two it is. Well, magnificent surge in the last two sets by Marlowe. Gets the crowd here, Ali Pali. Kevin Bajon. And now we'll take it higher. The electric avenue, folks, and the voltage going up here at the Ali Pali. What a Important leg. Well, I'm making a note. Width of wire from taking the set. That double ten. And that might prove yet to be a very, very important moment, Sid, because this is where Taylor can be at his most dangerous. He knows that oh. this leg, by winning it, can make him a firm, oh, firm favourite again. Too much air in the third shot. He's got to get a treble. Gets a treble. That's begging for another treble. That's magic! Oh, what a leg this is going to be! Marvel takes it! We have got parity three apiece. Tension cutting up at Ali Pali. Marvel back in the game, big time. 
having a look. Sunk. Nine legs out of ten. Taylor went up. Ninety seven. Marl came back. Seven out of eight. Marl's chance. Can't go lateral. Lovely readjustment. One hundred and ten. Readjustment upon the readjustment, if you like, as he puts one right alongside in the treble twenty pad to put himself within striking distance of a shot at double. But Taylor, as he Eight did in the leg before, showing disappointment there for the first time since. For level three sets apiece. Trouble lining is very handy. Gets it, he stops. They'll be back. He eases off the pedal, he eases off on everything, but crowd, congratulations. Three sets apiece coming up. Shot as eggs are soggy on the inside. Tell a hard boil. Now, triple 20 leaves top. Taylor's on top. Marble for the set. Magic marker. Super yeah, down. And he used the marker to perfection. Three sets all. Wayne blows a kiss, no doubt, to his wife. And he's found. Hardle. Well, he's just hit his first 180 of the match, takes out the darts, and look at that. A stage actor, if ever there was. How he loves playing to the crowd. And look at this Sydney boy. Fantastic. Marble in the black, making much, much the slower start. Peaking, though, in that fourth set, when Taylor himself ranked to 106, but Marble 110. Since then, Marble has held straight. 90% of the time in control of the stacker market darts. Wayne. 125. Here we go, Wayne. First shot at the big one then, John. Yeah. 71 left, treble 13. And this is the reason why I don't understand why they go this way. I really don't. He's got to get a treble having hit the ball. He's trodden on Phil Taylor's toes there, I think. That'll and, uh, teach Taylor that, well, to stand so close. <laughs> they do see the uh -huh, so Naughty, naughty, Philly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did step back rather a long way. Uh, oh, great dart. Oh, unlucky. Put the last level 16 attempt right there, didn't he? You remember? Nice to see a bit of a giggle at this stage in the game, even from the power. 60 won it. 60 missed. Well, if there was anything between them on the stage, uh, certainly no sign of it there a moment or two ago as Bard looks for a crucial double two. Yes. Oh, he pulled that. He pulled Off that. balance, totally dead right. Shoulder dipping before release. To go one set away from the match, the power looking at 60 for tops. Still a chance with a shot. Once the lipstick. Uh, dips below the lipstick. 60. If that was kissing, it would be the chin. To make even more exciting, double two. He's got an open bed, two thirds of the bed left of the marker. Oh, only 40% of the bed away, Matt. Time to pause and ponder. Time to take a little wonder. Time to stand and get it right. Surely he's going to. Oh! oh, want to see that again if we can, John. Just watch this banana shot. Game on. Relief there from Nardle. Look at the difference of angle into the board. He's gone way to his right, and he's got the biggest show of that red bit that he can find to aim for, and he planted it perfectly. And a wonderful way was the way it moved laterally, three quarters of an inch, about two inches before the board. Shot of the match. Oh, he'd have liked a ton 40 there. Taylor only kicking off with... 58 and Bartle getting the ton. Taylor doesn't want to break. I have his throw broken here. Sensational shot. Given the circumstances. 
sensational weighted shot to the 60. Not sure for win. This could be a bag of nails. 56. In the circs, it's a bag of rusties. Yes. It looks as though yet another leg is going to go with throw and to take us into the eighth set with Taylor 4-3 up. You'd never put Wayne in the pinta play, but you'd put him in as a Baron hard up. He don't do oh. subtle when it comes to expressions. Yes, he'd most certainly be Otto in the Gypsy Baron said There's no question about that. 95. Unlucky with that last dart. Just overweighted and took the lie too thin. Is he trying? Is he trying, the Essex man? And so is the Potteries man. Oh, absolute rapturous dart. 137. So, a great 137 from Taylor is responding as he can, of course, brilliantly here. And it won't matter to Taylor that Marvel has won two legs in this set. If Taylor takes this out, a 14 data beckons. Treble 10, double 18 may well be the uh, route he takes. Could go bull double eight. That's his attempt. Now he'll go nine, double 16. Double 16 now. Yeah, he Sanders. gets it. And it's Taylor's turn to turn on the theatrics. And that's Eight's a very old fashioned. Two. Although necessarily said, very important dart this. Oh dear, Marble can break it here. Oh, sway, but swing and sway too. Marble. Six starts with a set. To take us to win, amazing. And amazing. Last set. What a game. Taylor's got to pressurise this. Has to score 140. Has to. Yes. Has to leave it very handy indeed. Now then. That leaves 15. Marvel 64 then to level up at four sets all. 16. Double 16. Oh, the eggs. Right then. Taylor to keep the pressure on Mardle and get the back to being favourite to take the match in this set. He wants two fours. Down he goes, 12 inches to double two. Missing. And that's what happens when, when pressure tells. 16. I've never seen Taylor miss so many doubles in my yeah, life as he has so this week. Mardle doesn't miss Taylor. that one. Four sets all, folks. And for the third time today, we go into the deciding set. Trying <laughs> and our graph shows that just look at that. He was being taken to the cleaners till he suddenly whacked in 110, then followed up with 102. And now, Johnny, this is anybody's match. It is when Marble fought back, Taylor was only just behind him. Marble squeezed back into the match, if you like, whereas Taylor was in. Practically the better of the two at the start of the game. Now you cannot split them, Sid. He won the ball and gave it a Taylor. Good thing to do. Look at where we are now. Well, if it, if it goes five apiece, they'll have to pull up again, won't they? Uh, they could well do that. Lovely, first dart. Four, stacking. Lovely, second dart. Half the county of Middlesex to the left. 140. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's now five maximums apiece. Sending his dad into senior citizen heaven. Jumping and a bumping. Mardle has come out fantastic. 59. Poised to break the throw. Something of a record, Sid. Surely this has 85. to be a record. Taylor taken to the deciding set for the fourth match in a row. Well, absolutely. I reckon he should be 
feeling his heartbeat right now. Lavendana coming in. Six is the shot. Just pulled. This would shake the cup. Hardle on 40 against the darts. Taylor, 157, suddenly really becomes a challenge. Treble 19 for double top. Unlucky. Needed that so badly because now Mardle comes up the top for a break and throw. To be favourites, Topsy wants. Second dart. Third dart, clear aim. Pulling badly. Taylor then. Coming to the board now to go ahead with double 12. Middle of the bed. Stole the leg after brilliance by Mardle, Johnny. Yes, and Mardle had broken Mardle Taylor Mardle. on his previous two throws and really, really, really will rue the fact that he couldn't finish that one off. Oh, yes. He's got to shake that out of his mind somehow. Crowd. Perfectly balanced between Andy's massive, in. full enjoyment of the match. Stunt silence. But when the players through, good order at the Ali Palace. Even though it's even, we're having 3,000 folk. Quietest lady in the place, Donna Mardle. I reckon it's just about equal with Yvonne Taylor myself, Sid. <laughs> there you go then. Joe oh, Slack Dart should have been to the left of the mark at that by Phil. Mardle should be at the double first. That sometimes happens when he's under pressure. Great reaction. 85. To land him on 176, a lead of 128, but this is where Taylor, a 180, will be very useful indeed. That's the dart that's been letting him down for the last six months. The slacking slow dart on the attack. Oh, and two great airstrikes! Yes, Taylor's on the shot. Now Mardle making a ball bit. Now treble 20 here will leave double 18. Oh, what a Brilliant! Brilliant use of the light, John. That had to be spot on. Well, I remember that double two a few legs back, but that was a brilliant, brilliant dart. One of his best of the match in terms of what he had to aim at to set up 36. Taylor needed treble 18 there, but... Double 18, he gets it! 13 daughter! What a match! Third leg, Phil to Rufin. Yeah. What? We get to a stage in the game now where averages really don't matter, but it's 93 and a half, 92. Mardle the one on 92. But really, it's all now about each dart individually, about the ones that hit and the ones that miss, and in the end, who makes it into the semi. Oh, nowhere near. That's showing the pressure. Chiller and Inchy Weir with the perfect lie on the treble 19. Mardle should be 2-0 up. 100. Blinded down to a double, then he'll kill a catch him in the first leg of the set. This is the deciding set. Yes. Pacing We're like an expecting daddy outside the maternity ward. But his form could give birth to a semi-final flip. Yeah, we may recall his three darts at tops in the first leg, which would have put him one up, but uh, he must not recall it yet. He has to put it out of his mind. I think he has done, Sid. Everyone's eyes locked on the flock. Shepard's not playing. Shepard's... Got there together, John, synchronised commentary. Here we go, Understacker. Oh, he lost the line. 55. Now, a chance for Mardle again here, Sid. Disappointing score from Taylor, gives him an opportunity, 60. but only ah. 60. And again, you see one very moderate score followed by another, but he's, he's loving every moment of this. This is what I was put on earth to do, he says. I'm enjoying this. What well, he get way. kicked out of heaven by the other angels <laughs> with antics like that. <laughs> You know what happened to Lucifer? Oh, this is not convincing by Taylor, not convincing at all. Oh, a bag of nil! Pressure, pressure, pressure. 
Phew, yes, Yvonne. Phew. 100. This is on Taylor's throw as well. Model could well be throwing for the game in about 16 darts time. He's gone through the mill this week and last week as Phil Taylor. Still, he can find a treble 20. And still, he had to hang on in there. Oh, fantastic for a man who's under intense, 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 intense pressure. To go one leg away from the match, treble 15. Double 18 for a cribbler on the wire! And that would have been a real killer. Now, Taylor, a 1 3 4 will certainly change Marble's tune for him. No, it ain't happening at the moment for the power. 18s. There we go then, Marble. Throws first in the next leg, double 18. Needs a dip, half an inch of the bread bit. Too much. Double nine, Taylor thinks he's going to get a shot. Model pulls it, pulls it quarter of an inch south. Well, Phil can't believe it that Wayne Mardle's let him off twice in this set. The first leg, and now this one, 76 he wants. Double eight to go 2-1 up with throw. Fraction inside, one or two in the crowd thought it was in, but discernibly not. Oh, dear. Pressure gets through to Taylor, half an inch away with that last dart. To become favourite for the match, Mardle. He will throw in the next leg. Thank he you. takes his time. He treble checks for form rather than knowledge. Yeah, double 18 coming in. It's a dip, half an inch. Double 18. 18 Well, they're both feeling the pressure, Very and I think eight. their respective spouses are going through the mill as well as them. Another chance for Taylor to go ahead in this ninth set. Taylor goes ahead, but, but, Wayne has the darts to save this match. Excellent start, Johnny. Well, he had that dart at the end of the combination at double 18. He had uh, darts at double 18, double nine. He busted the double nine, he went to double 14. Three more darts at double 18. And when you think that he missed those darts at double top the first leg, it could have been all over right now, Sid. Instead, this match goes on. Taylor looking vulnerable. 55. Has swum through Trickle in all his matches before. Van Gogh, watch. Tabard. If Wayne gets the leg, we're into the tiebreak territory. You're going to get too clear if this is 2 2. Room to the left. Oh, perfect dart! What a brilliant last dart! 41 in it. Now then, Mardle will move from there, I think. 105. To leave 160. Okay. 140 needed. 180 needed, really. Mardle got. Oodles the darts, Six. to level it up then, John. Yeah, 306 is one of those numbers where you see players tending to go down to 19s, but that's academic now because Marble wanted another treble 20 for tops. Ah, but he's made a big hole in it, 76 left. Right. Turn 40 makes life very interesting. Turn 80 makes life extra interesting. Wayne knows. Turn 40, the only chance. But no guarantee on this performance that Taylor was going to get anywhere near the red bit. 85. Oh, he's left one, six, one. Yeah, 76 he needs, 56. 20 for double 18, no, 16 for tops. On the wire then for the match. Phil Taylor wants one, six, one. For the match. 60 the first requisite. Uh, the last time he wanted 170, I remember saying there's the one, he just needs the seven and the naught. But uh, Phil Taylor can, in very extreme circumstances like that, be made to look very ordinary. Wayne Mardle wants double ten. I've got to go a fraction inside. 
Yes, and he's done it. Two all. Play. Now the referee will tell us. And the set score at two legs. Two apiece. <laughs> He'll remind us that, of course, it has to be one by two clear the legs. Goes to five legs each. The eleventh leg will be sudden death. Billy Marvel's enjoying every bit of it, even though his son's up there in the thick of it. In the last four quarterfinals they've been in, Taylor's won. Wouldn't allowed to pick a winner here, wouldn't allowed to pick a winner. A lovely second dart by Taylor. 100! Too clear, remember. Got to get some 60 action going here, Johnny. 60! Absolutely, and not that way. With one dart rather than three. Perfect for Landon. Superb. Can hardly uh, cover, cover, cover. 139. <laughs> 100. Remember, Martin was 3 0 down. Power in the wheel was Taylor, then Martin came back beautifully. 110 average. To start the prowl back, here we are locked. Taylor dealing out heavy punishment. Wow! Oh, is he ever? Yes. How Phil Taylor can rediscover the ability to do that from being pretty ordinary in fairness before is amazing, really. That was pretty ordinary too, but 79. Now then, 20 leaves tops, and he knows he's got 22. time on his side. Brought out a 13 dart of me, Michael Van Gogh, and I darts to beat him 3 1. Are we going to see another Taylor purple patch 100. to make the other man's face red? Tops, he wants them to go 3 2 ahead. Yeah, no problem. 13 darter 13. from Phil Taylor. 16. And in that game Three. against Michael Van Gogh, when he finished. Very spectacularly with the 13 and the 11, Sid. Absolutely. Just the lad to leave the best till the last. Nowhere near the treble 19. A brilliant last dot. 84. Well, of course, if we didn't have the tiebreak rule in the final, in, 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 in the World Championship, uh, Taylor would have won by now. But he's got the 180 that he's looking for, Marble. Yes, nearly 200 ahead, 193 is advantage. It's like a guy playing Hamlet and pulling out a slapstick. He does the business with a tungsten. Then he shows you his party piece. Don't you love, Marble? A gem of the game. But might lackluster soon. The power plants a max. To be great or to be ordinary, Sid. Taylor, we know, is great. And during the course of these championships has been made on occasions to look ordinary. But he still has the knack of being able to just pull it out when he really has to at the end Beauty of an invigorating contest. Great darts from Marvel to leave him on tops. Marvel's sitting on a 13 daughter. Power trying to jump his burns where there's treble scoring. 99. When you require 40. 13 daughter. Oh, and middle of the bed. Sweet as you Come want. On. Here we go. Seven Could day. get a 5-5 five, five, and then it'll be sudden death. Game on. Yes, a 13 daughter apiece. Smiles all round for Wayne Marvel, but I'll tell you what. Phil Taylor displaying at the moment that level which has made him champion in the most extreme circumstances of pressure. He pulls out a 137. One of the great entertainers of the game, model, Jockey Wilson, will remember. Evans threatened to punch him, it looked like. Entertainment when Bristol played Wilson. Wayne model carrying on that entertaining tradition. At the other end of the game, superb. Sears the power though. Oh, is he ever? You know, Sid, with Phil Taylor, it's almost as if the smell of the winning post is in his nostrils and it causes him suddenly to take a deep breath and pull out all the stops. 
cover shot again. Now Greenbet. Oh, lovely! Eleven dollar to prove John Gwynn's point. <laughs> Big time. Mark Hayden in the bowl. Well, that could be a mistake. That Mardle could. Mardle could take this, Johnny. Yes, if he does take out 121 here, and he wants the ball for it. Oh, 25. Oh. Go one leg away. Potentially from the match. What a belter! What a belter! Oh, 16. And the wire. Ought to go low. Ought to go low. Ought not use the marker. And oh so wow! He down. went the most difficult Eight way, down. risking a bad bump. Mardlin saved the match. Has to get going big time on the red bit. Well, every leg in this set has gone with throw. One or two of the early ones ought not to have done. Frankly, Mardle should have won this 3-0, Sid. Uh, but we can't dwell on that any more than he can. We've just got to get on with the next leg. If we dwelt on anything in this one, we'd miss nine darts. Over the top of the stagger. Lovely dart! Anybody who misses that treble will be in trouble. Anybody who hits it big time will not. Seven, one eighties each. Wayne picking his moment play. One hundred and twenty. Well, the last dot. But in the circumstances, probably not enough. One eighty for Woodmardle in the eighth leg. He got one in the sixth. The 60. real one was the fifth. He got to. The 51 80 got in the opening leg, but he spurned the chance of winning it. 140 makes life very interesting here. Yeah. Because even if Margle just missed and left a two darter, oh, this is very slack by the power. He's really had to pressure this shot. Six. Oh, that was a disastrous Why visit. 161. So 161 with throw, 146 left. Could do with the treble here. 95. Gets, Gets the treble here, yeah. Pressurise this once a maximum as we get ever nearer the eleventh leg, which will be sudden death. And one of them's going to die. Metaphorically speaking, has to get the trouble. He had to pressurise it, John. Six. Did yeah, it? Did even, it? Even a 140 would have pressurised it, Sid. But Mardle, 66, 16 for tops. For a four all scoring legs. 26. Unlucky. Taylor 156 for the match. I remember the last time he was in this situation, it was 161 he wanted for the match. It's a big ask, but it's not impossible. Treble 20. Gets it. Another one of them. No any other lie. Right then. To square it up once again. 4 4 4 4. Tops. Well, it's four all in sets. It's four all in legs in the deciding set. If they if they hold throw a piece in the next two legs, it's all on one final leg. And I do still believe that Wayne Mardle, when three sets to nil down, would have settled for a sudden one leg playoff. Sydney, make no mistake about that. 59. Even so, he could have won it before now, amazingly. Don't have to see Mrs. Taylor looking discombobulated. It. Oh, 8 180. Wants this, wants it, Marble. That is 3 0 down. Taylor looked to be cursed in it. Taylor's in bother now. But yeah. just the lad to cut uh, the lipstick. I felt the head shake said it all there. He can't believe the barrage of 180s coming from Mardle. And a 180 against the throw really has put Mardle in a really, really strong position now. 180 again. That's a nine daughter, maybe. Thinking about a nine daughter. 
Just pulled, just pulled. Makes a favourite for the leg good, John. Yeah. I wonder if a player has a nine daughter in mind in the cauldron of this match and in the middle of all that we've witnessed over the last two to two and a half hours. 132. Maybe, maybe not. Snatchy snatch at the 60. 45. Had good open the door there. 140 for Taylor here. Sorry, Bristol Cup spotting with us. Giving us the odd verbal says. Too far ahead of himself, agree 100%, Eric. I think Wynn was playing the shot. Head of the imagination. Taylor is not. 58. Disastrous visit. Only 60. Well, he stopped being silly, please, by the players of Croydon. There's somebody in the uh, briefest way of telling him he doesn't want to dwell on that because he knows the players are right, right, and they're most eager to get on with it. Chablanin would have left the ball with the, the wire out. 97. Even so, it puts him in a handy position, but this for a break, said. This for a break, a throw. Let's go ahead, Trouble five, 14. Four. Here we go then. 51. Go one leg away potentially from the match. He is miscounted. Thank you. I think he regrets the shot he made, Taylor. Didn't want to leave 70. Treble 18, Sandy, for double eight. 20 and double 16 to go in a pole position. Green bit. Green bit. Well, Maddle wants 40. I thought he'd have gone the ball route earlier, but he didn't. He, he's nevertheless got the chance to go 5-4 ahead. And now he is throwing for the match. If he wins this leg, he can save himself the need for the one decisive leg. Lost 9 out of 10 legs early in the game. Fought back with 7 out of 8. And is now going to take out the 13 times world champion. The power is under the Romford hammer. Seventy-seven scored. Ninety-six in reply to eighty-five. Every treble now is like gold. One hundred clump. She knows that's a hundred carats. That's too high. They've been letting them down these trouble nineteens. Not this time. Lovely room for one on the top of the marker. Didn't six. take the opportunity. 192 scored by two 96s. Bardle still though, getting that precious treble. And another one. Two lumps of solid gold. Makes him favourite by the match. Taylor has got to get something high, 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 like 140 or better. Pass. Down for Trevor Lane. The case of 139 being better than 140 because he's on a 170 finish. Even so, Marble here with another very precious treble. Lands on 36. Oh, 50. Taylor's got to get. 170. Taylor's three darts to save the match. Four last quarter finals. He's beaten Martel. Martel then match point away. Martel now on Jordan. 18. Remember, it was three sets to nil down. He triples with the most. Wow, 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 what a fantastic.
fantastic quarter-final day and Phil Taylor is man enough to go to Mardle and say, well done, Wayne Mardle. He is hurt, Phil Taylor, but he's man enough to be able to do that, Sid. Two years ago in Essex, he nearly took Taylor to the semi-final. The last four quarter-finals, he has lost it, Taylor. But Wayne Mardle, this is the night of your darling life. What a man! What a match! What a comeback! Well, the crowd have enjoyed themselves too. And once again, a big hug between the two combatants. They have been involved in one of the great, great matches that we've seen during the course of this competition. Final. <laughs> Wayne, have a look out there. There's quite a few people who would like to see you as a world champion. Can you do it for them? I won't let anyone down. I will not, whether I win it or not, believe me, I, I want to win this a thousand percent and I will not, I will not give up. I was 3 0 down against Phil Taylor and I felt I could win and I did. I will not give up, honestly. I, it just means the world to me. And I'm in a semi final where I've got not Phil Taylor. Every semi-final I've been in in the PDC, it's been Phil Taylor. And he's gone now. Hey! <laughs> you've, you've got a young man by the name of Kirk Shepard, though, who's had an incredible tournament. Uh, to be honest, the way he played today, and the way he's played throughout the whole tournament, it would be no easier than Phil. All I can say is, me and Kirk have a great game. Whoever wins deserves to be in the final. Simple as that. Because I've got the experience and I've been there for a couple of years, it doesn't mean I'm going to win. And uh, I'll tell you what, good luck to the lad. He probably deserves being there. You played it like an exhibition match. You kept mouthing over to your wife, Donna, and saying, I'm going to win this, I'm not going to lose, I'm not going to lose. I just tried to... Uh, whenever I play Phil in the past, I care too much. I tried, believe it or not. You know, the, the saying goes, uh, treat as if it doesn't care when it means everything. And do you know what? That works. Tonight, oh, I'd done that. Apart from a couple of shots at double 18 when I did try, and I, I was rubbish. <laughs> Wayne Mardle, world champion, has got a, quite a nice ring to it. You might sell a few of these shirts, might you? Not yet, mate, not yet. But <laughs> I'll have a chat when I do win it. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Mardle.